Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a quick video on something to watch out for when you're buying a bush hog, brush hog, rotary cutter, whatever you want to call it. Look out for this specific design. I bought this off Facebook Marketplace and it has been nothing but issues. What we're looking at here is a four foot rotary cutter by King Cutter. The model's a King Cutter XB. I think I paid 400 bucks for it. New, I believe they're $14.99, something like that. I read the reviews on it before I bought it, and a few people said that they had issues with it, but you never know what to make out of reviews. So I bought it anyways, and sure enough, I ran into the exact same problem. Huge design flaw. The problem with this particular cutter and this design is that the back end of it actually comes to a point. So what will happen is you'll be bush hogging in reverse, and any dirt, rock, sticks, or hill that you try to back into you'll get hung up on it and it will fold the back end of this rotary cutter in. You can see it has pushed it in pretty far and it pushed it in far enough to where my blades actually ripped through the deck. Now this is pretty thin, I think it's 10 gauge, so it's a pretty lightweight cutter, but this design right there, how it comes to a point, I don't know why they did that. I can't see any benefit in doing that. So if you have one of these, let me know if you've had issues with that. And guys, if you're looking to get one, I would highly recommend getting one that does not have that design on it. I'd get one that has more of an open back or a rounded back. Now, I don't want this to come across as bashing King Cutter. I have other products of theirs. I've got a box blade and I've actually got a five foot rotary cutter of theirs and I've had zero issues with them. It's just this particular model and this design seems to be problematic and I should have read the reviews better should have paid more attention to them and trusted them because yeah it, it, it's definitely uh, useless to me now i think what i'm going to do to make this usable again since this is just a backup cutter i'm probably going to cut a rectangle section all the way out and down similar to like the open back styles like the rear discharge um, I, I think that's going to be the only way to keep the blade from hitting it and we'll see how that works wasted 400 dollars, but hopefully it'll keep you guys from making the same mistake as always, I hope this was helpful. If you thought it was, please like or comment and subscribe. I'm going to put up as many videos as I possibly can. Thanks and have a good day.